Reports. It's been nearly seven months since five people died in an apartment in Commerce City. Investigators say they used cocaine laced with a deadly dose of fentanyl. The district attorney calling it one of the largest mass incidents of its kind in the U.S. Denver 7 was there when the DA made the announcement that no arrests have been made. Murder for profit, that's all I care about is it money, you know. Earlier this year, through tears, Debbie Garcia spoke about the drug dealers who sold the deadly fentanyl that took her daughter's life. Murderers, she called them. It was a horrific, shocking night. Karina Rodriguez was one of five people found dead in a Commerce City apartment, all of them taking cocaine, unaware it was laced with fentanyl. We do not have the evidence to charge anyone either at the state or federal level. And now, close to seven months later, these words from the Adams County District Attorney. The drug dealers will likely never face charges. DA Brian Mason says his team worked tirelessly to try and solve the tragic case. They even had extra help from Merrick Garland and the Department of Justice. But he says the team just doesn't have the evidence to bring charges. Mason says the evidence strongly shows the victims did not know they were taking drugs laced with fentanyl enough to kill them almost instantly. In order for us to charge someone with these deaths, we need to have an identifiable suspect who we can prove sold the drugs that were laced with the fentanyl that killed these five individuals. And we do not have that today. But he says that doesn't mean it won't happen eventually, stressing it all comes down to more leads, new evidence, and changing technology to help solve crimes. Mason says it's not a simple solution, especially with the prevalence of fentanyl on our streets. He says the problem is only getting worse. That's because of synthetic opioids hitting the streets that are even more dangerous and powerful than fentanyl. More and more people have become addicted unwittingly to fentanyl by taking drugs that were laced with fentanyl that they originally did not know of and yet now they do know that they are addicted to fentanyl and they are seeking it out and more people are dying and more and more families are left in grief and bewildered and like Karina Rodriguez's sister hoping the dealers face the consequences whether they are charged or not and I hope that someday you know whatever they believe in whatever belief system they have that they have to face that they have to face the lives that that they knowingly you know took away from from families the DA says he personally spoke with all the families involved in this case and stresses this case is not closed. Now, we just received a statement from the family of Karina Rodriguez, one of the five people who died in the incident, urging anyone with information to contact the Commerce City Police Department. They say, quote, we believe there is a culpable person or persons who need to be held to account. We remain hopeful for that day. Until then, we grieve our beloved daughter, sister and mother who was robbed of her life. The DA says his team will continue to do all it can to get justice for the five victims who lost their lives.